Two dollar coins. Dollar coins. Fifty cents. Twenty cents. Ten cents. Five cents. Ones and twos. Half pennies. Pennies. Threepence. Sixpence. Florins. Shillings. Strange money. Ooh. Stealing silver. Junk bracelets. Junk rings. Junk chain. A chain that literally just fell apart. 9k. And then 18 carat white gold. With diamonds all the way around. Nice. And uh, 18 carat. Beautiful stone. Aquamarine stone, maybe. Twelve grams, eleven grams, ten grams, eighteen carat, small little diamonds, eighteen carat, yeah, six grams, nine carat, ten grams, nine carat, ten grams, sterling silver, Pandora ring. So not bad going. How you going, guys? Uh, just uh, give you a rundown. Um, I'm on now. Uh, cams, Coastal Watch. And pretty grainy sort of picture at night time, but during the day it's crystal clear. And I'm starting to look at uh, all the different types of erosion on the beach. So instead of having to drive everywhere, now I just do coastal watch and all the different cameras. Uh, I can have a look at Victoria if I want. Obviously at night time, unless I've got light set up somewhere, you're not going to see much. But during the day, a uh, good way to check out all your tides and have a look and uh, find out what's going on. Now the the money pot that I found down there with all the the jewellery. Um, I come across at 10 o'clock at night on a high tide and it uh, made a beautiful big cut in, uh, in into the sand dune and uh, you know look how many holes it was just I can't believe how many holes I dug that night but you know these aren't you know three or four in one hole these are just all a separate hole so after the high tide had finished pretty much the first round, right up the very top, I was getting all your fives and one cent coins and a couple of ten cent coins, and I thought, this is pretty ripped off. Um, and when the tide subsided just a little bit more, and I got sort of two more sections down, I started getting into the 20s and the 50s and the dollars and the two dollars. And by about two in the morning, when she was going out to lowish tide, when I got out to the lower tide, uh, getting my feet wet, I started pulling out all the heavier stuff. So, it just shows you, if you work the beach properly, and you look for the perfect night, the perfect cut, you can come up with a jackpot. And just to show you, there's some of the junk there. Some more junk all in there. There's all the money that I've been collecting from before, so I'm not doubling up everything. And there she is there, one hell of a pick, four or five hour pick again, uh, done with the Garrett Sea Hunter, Mark II, um, pulled its weight that night, did well. Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and you'll go back a few videos and you'll be able to see the cut that I'm talking about at 10 o'clock at night, uh, 10 foot drop off from the edge.
So a huge cup. Once in every six months that, that happens. And I was there yet again. Alright guys. Take care. Keep digging. See ya.